Uh, good, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, here with uh, Richard Chamberlain from Golf. Richard Chamberlain. Richard Chamberlain Golf Design. Uh, Richard's been appointed uh, by the council to redesign our golf course um, and uh, hopefully pull us into the uh, next century with our golf course. So, uh, Richard, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, I'm 49 years old. I'm 49 years old. I live on the Gold Coast uh, with my wife and three kids. Yeah. And uh, I started this business in 1988 for Marsh Watson, yeah. uh, which was a company with Ross Watson and Graham Marsh. They split in 91. I stayed with Graham Marsh's company for about a decade. Yeah. Uh, 2001, I jumped on board with Ross Watson. Okay. Uh, Ross was very active at the remodeling of Royal Sydney, the Gemma Shores, Kalinda Waters, yeah. a couple of courses in Brisbane. Very busy time. Yeah. And you were involved in all those And projects. I was involved you know, from on site, plans, design, the whole, the whole box of dots. Very good. Um, and I established my own company, Richard Chamberlain Golf Design, in 2008. Uh, been a bit of a bumpy ride since then. I've had some good periods. It's yeah. very quiet yeah. right. right. periods. It's the start of the economic downturn. Not a lot of people doing some yeah, it was a really good time. Yeah. Really good time to go yeah. solo. Yeah. Um, yeah. But this this year's been very busy. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah look, and it is. Yeah, look, it's a good I've probably got, I haven't got anything on the ground in New South Wales, so I'll, I'll be very eager to get the name in. And um, I've, I first met you uh, a few days ago, and it's your first visit to the site. What were your first impressions of the, of the site? Oh, look, a, a very good site. It, it was, I didn't really have any preconceived uh, pre uh, ideas about the course, but it was certainly more hilly than I thought. Yeah. Um, you know, I pictured Link style, lovely rolling terrain, and uh, it was a little bit more than rolling. It was <laughs> kind of steep in places, but still very good for golfing, yeah. very dramatic. So, uh, lovely site. The whole, the whole place just feels fantastic. Yeah, um, the vibe up in the pub here yeah, feels really good. Um, the golf course, uh, yeah, my, my B grade game yeah, would struggle around here. No, I, uh, I think it's a fair test, especially when you win a lot. And I guess, uh, I guess part of the design would, would be make it a little bit more, I, won't, I don't want to say easier, but probably a little bit more forgiving and a little bit more easier. Uh, um, <laughs> Well, look, we, we don't want to give away too much. We've been working for the last three days on some uh, different routing options. But uh, can you give us a little insight into what you've got planned for us? Well, obviously, we're, uh, we're losing effectively the ninth hole and the first hole as a result of the development. So we have to uh, find those two golf holes somewhere on the golf course. It seems we've got nowhere to land to play with. We've virtually got a split hole to now and hopefully make par threes and par fours out of par five or something similar. So uh, there's not that many opportunities. There's a few options that we've considered on the fifth hole, the 17th hole, the 14th hole. Um, and I think after two or three days on the side here, we're, we've broken its back. We're, we're heading in the right direction. The course will definitely be shorter, um, but I think it'll be more fun. I think we'll have more more risk and reward strategy behind the new golf holes anyway. Yeah. And I think part of my process is I'll probably yeah. make some recommendations for some of your other holes that, uh, that, that put more yeah. risk and reward option yeah. into them rather than just reaching for the driver or having a, a really hard 140 meter yeah. character yeah. Car carry. Yeah. Um, so again, trying to put that that strategy in place so that the, the A graders and the C graders can all enjoy the golf course very much. Now you mentioned the word, uh, what, what I took out of that, you mentioned the word fun. Uh, can you expand a bit on that? Because that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to make uh, the golf course more fun. Well, as you said, I've, I've, I've had a pretty bumpy ride over yeah. the last couple of years with the golf course work because golf courses are struggling. They, they, they all need more punters on the golf course. More fun. And, yeah. I, and I think it's just become yeah. too, you know, it's too long to play. I don't necessarily think it's too expensive to play, but um, time for you need five or six hours to play, which is ridiculous. And people don't want to lose a thousand dollars and have an open twenty hours to stick. They want to, they want to make birdies and they want to have some fun. So uh, look, we're going to finish up with obviously being a shorter golf course. Uh, don't for a second think it's going to be easier because there, there will be an option on every hole, every one of the new holes I've done. There will be an opportunity to take a down shot and possibly make a birdie around or play it the safe way, and we might still make the birdie with people, but there will be distinct, distinct shot options on either, uh, on either top. And that generates a lot more interest in the stimulation of the golf, and, and it makes it more interesting, and hopefully more people want to keep coming back and, and back to play more fun. And more fun.
Well, that's it, everyone. Um, I, I think what we can take out of that is that uh, our new golf course is uh, going to be more playable, not necessarily going to be more easier, but definitely more fun. Uh, we'll be back in probably four or five weeks with uh, another update from Richard, so uh, good luck, everyone.